<laughs> We're back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That's enough of that. Right. That's enough of that. <clears throat> so, good evening. Oh, good night. Hello. It is another day. So, um, by this time, you guys know who I am. Paul, one of the co-founders of Tembo. You it's, guys know me. I Makanaka. <laughs> Computer science. Yep, you know, 23 years old. From 20 years. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been one heck of a day. Um, I'm sorry if like my voice is not coming out clearly. I hate when people do that. But I'm sorry if my voice is not coming out clearly. I've been under the weather today. Um, but <clears throat> I will not be defeated. So by the grace of Halls, we're surviving. <laughs> cool. So um I'm going to let you take the lead today. Okay. But today we're talking about the course correction factor and the importance of it. Do you want to start? Okay, well, um, I'll start <clears throat> off with an example, like something small. Well, for me, when I graduated high school, my plan was to become a pilot. That Mine too. <laughs> well, when I was a kid... <laughs> But that's not important. Well, yeah, back in high school, I wanted to be a pilot. And then I graduated high school, and I was looking at jobs and how long you had to go to school for. Fire. Those are good. Yeah. But anyways, I did some research on what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And after some studying and whatnot, I okay. realized, I was like, you know what? Maybe this is not for me. Why? I should. It's going to sound... Oh, I'm asking that specifically, okay. but why? Just, just Why? why? I mean, answer what you're about to okay. say, but why? <laughs> One of the main reasons why I told myself, you know, being a pilot was not going to be the right job for me. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised, but I'm kind of scared of heights. So that was, I know it sounds stupid, but. <laughs> There's no such like, thing as a stupid course correction, but that's, <laughs> that is a that's kind of important. Um, wow. I, was, I told myself, I was like, you know, you're afraid you know of what? heights. Yeah. Let's let let me speak on that really quickly yeah, go ahead. Uh, before I let you go on, and I will. Um, but so tonight it's about course correcting and understanding the pit stops you have to make along your journey, um, academically, uh, in your career wise. Uh, whenever you all get there, but <clears throat> for him, he he wanted to be a pilot, and I think one of the main requirements of being a pilot is being able to fly yeah <laughs> up high really high <laughs> <laughs> so um you know from his perspective and you know it's very clear obviously the correction he had to make was yeah. i'm afraid of heights i can't fly yep. right um i do think that's very important like you know along our journey even even with tembo so I found myself, especially a couple, you know, a couple of times so far, um, I've been reaching out to Greg Todd and uh, coolest dude ever. But, you know, I'll, I'll ask him this question over and over again. How do you face situations? How do you address certain problems you have? And the same thing over and over, he comes back to me is you got to learn how to course correct, right? Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to completely course correct, make the right decisions to go along your way. So... Here's here's what I'm thinking. You know, it's 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 very easy to, as a student, start your academic journey, and think because I chose what I chose freshman year. Because you know, the whole point of Temple is obviously to help you make the correct decision. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, coming into it, you choose what you choose. So you want to study. Um, let me just pick something veterinary vet 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 science <laughs> vet, vet science and you tell yourself because I chose that when I was 17 surely when I'm 20 22, 22 23, 23 21 24 that's that's what I'm still gonna have the same exact passion right and if that's the mindset you have, I mean, and this could apply to anything, but we're talking about academically specifically. If that's the mindset you have, right, what's going to happen is, one, you're going to burn out really easy. You're going to burn out really easily. Um, but two, you might not actually get the enjoying enjoyment of the like college experience. You might not get to enjoy life fully 
you know, to where you want it to be just because you don't know how to course correct. You don't know how to make the adjustments you need to make to live life to the fullest. So back to this hypothetical situation, hypothetical situation. I don't know if anybody's gone through it. And if disclaimer, if anybody's gone through this, it's not about you, <laughs> but, um, you come into college 17, 18, the world is a new place and you're trying to discover who you are, find, you know, your top five people that make up who you are. And then you're trying to balance school, socializing, sleep, work. studying, work, and I don't know, your romantic life, because that's what people do, right? And <clears throat> as you grow, as you go through the experience, you know, your passions change. Mm -hmm. You pick up different things. I know for me, I picked up music production. Granted, granted, uh, so I studied piano for much of my life. I, I wanted to play trumpet, and then, you know, the parents were like, nah, dog, <laughs> you're going to play <laughs> piano. So... Studied piano um, up through high school, and then once I got into college, I started taking a lot, a lot of interest. Now, I dabbled here and there in music production, Yeah. right? But I took a lot of interest in, okay, what can I learn? How can I change? Because being a classical pianist, I didn't see myself, you know, as great as it would be to be sitting at Carnegie, you know, playing the light out, light out of some Schubert. That's not where I saw my life going. So I, you know, I had to decide how can I still use what I've learned, but adjust it so that I can still have that talent there, right? I can still have, use all the things I've acquired over the years, but in a more productive way. What I noticed is as I was going through this, the only things I really struggled with was the amount of time I had to put into learning stuff like Pro Tools, stuff like Logic, stuff like FL, right? But once I had all that software learning down, easy. So where one has to learn it from the jump, not only do I have to learn the software, but now I have to learn how to play some of these instruments. For me specifically, you know, I can just sit down and open it and be like, okay, let me just play. And also on top of that, using that course correction method, I was able to pick up other instruments, bass, guitar, I don't know, saxophone. I tried, but brass <laughs> instruments are not my thing. Um, but, you know, I was able to pick up other instruments and then use those, right? So suddenly I, I realized that my, my arsenal of uh, abilities was growing because I'd stop and be like, okay, let me adjust this here. Let me start learning some blues. Let me start learning some jazz. Let me start learning some country music. Let me start learning some soul, right? <clears throat> let me start learning all these things. And then, you, and then you, I coupled them together. So now I've got this fusion of like classical mixed with jazz, mixed with punk rock, mixed with hip hop, mixed with R&B, mixed with soul music. But it's all because of those corrections I made as I was going. Uh, the other part of course correction, course correcting is when, you know, as it says, your path is very straight. But what can happen <coughs> is you can, you can get shocked. You can experience trauma. I mean, yeah. 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 And you experience trauma. So you're going straight, straight, straight. You experience trauma and boom. You're going this way. Now, granted, because of the trauma, you got adjusted off what? Your course. Yeah. That was very straight. So now you need to actually find a way to circle back and go straight forward. And this is important. You know, as common sense as it is, I don't think people often take time to actually think about what actual steps do I need to take to correct myself, put myself on the, you know, the narrow path, uh -huh. you know, put myself back on <clears throat> the, the road straight ahead. I don't think enough people actually take time. So one of our focuses at Tembo is literally, what do you need to do? How can we help you? How can you help yourself? Of course, correct. What was I saying earlier? Back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Back to me. <clears throat> so one of the main reasons why I wanted to be a pilot was because I loved, I still love working with computers. And you know, pilots, they have some of the best computers on this planet. We'd hope. Well, I hope so, yeah. Because yeah. they have to get a couple people from point A to point B safely. Roughly. In the air. Yeah couple of thousand feet in the air. So the main reason why was uh -huh. because I wanted to work with computers. So I looked at myself, I was like, you know, 
I'm not a big fan of hides, I'm afraid of hides, so let me think of something that I can do which has computers in it. And so that's why I ended up deciding on doing computer science. I was able to look at how, I guess you could say, my life was going and what I needed to do to correct myself to end up doing something which I still loved, but it was not the first thing I had in mind. So it's a beautiful example. I was able to correct myself to doing computer science. To find his passion. Yeah, you find know? my passion. And that's, what's, that's what it's really about. Finding <clears throat> your true passion. Finding what it is that you're just really about and yeah. going down. And you know, that may take you four, five, six years. That might take you three, four, five adjustments. Who yeah. knows? But you have to be willing. Step one, you have to be willing to actually do it. Um, I think, especially with course corrections, because I think what it entails, what I've learned, right? So what I've gathered is when it comes to <coughs> having to correct the course you're on, right? To make sure that you're optimizing your time mm -hmm. and optimizing your resources is that it's going to take some uncomfortable change. Oh yeah, it is. It's going to take some uncomfortable change. Um, and it's going to put you at a place of vulnerability. Because you've been comfortable. I mean, think yeah. about it. Really, think about it. Yeah. You've been comfortable. You've, you've been on this path for so long. And then something happens that throws you off. So now, either you've got to do something to put yourself back on, which will make you, you know, have to really look, you know, internally yeah. and outwardly. And like, oh, how did I get there? Yeah. How did I get here? Or the other part is, you actually have to take a chance. And push yourself on a whole different course. Try a whole different career. Try a whole different major. It's all about being willing to change, being willing to take that chance, and then being willing to be vulnerable. We should put that on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> change, be willing, be vulnerable, and change. Those three things, I think, are going to be the key components of an efficient and optimal course correction. Definitely. If, by the way, y'all have <clears throat> any suggestions or ways that you do your own course correction throw them down in the comments please throw them down in the comments just because you know we don't have all the answers yeah right? we talked about that in one of our videos we don't have all the answers i'm still a learning growing human being Same. and i've only lived on this earth for a certain amount of time so <laughs> i ain't got it all but what i do have i want to share with y'all but just be vulnerable be, be willing be vulnerable and then actually do the action that's how you course correct. And the importance of it. Now, <clears throat> the, the other half, the other side of that is once, oh boy, once you actually go through that stuff, right? Once you actually correct your course, once you actually put yourself on the optimal path, yeah. watch, watch, just watch. I promise you, just watch how your journey just surpasses your wildest imaginations. Just watch. Because now you've done the one uncomfortable thing you needed to do to get there. Simple as that. Simple as that. Do you have anything to add to that? No, but no. at the end of it, you'll come out a stronger person. Absolutely. You really Absolutely. will. Absolutely. <clears throat> like, I, I, you know, I've been doing a lot of reading lately. And uh, one of the themes that uh, my reading has circled around is the concept of this too shall pass, right? So if you find yourself in a place of discomfort of you know troubled waters just understand what you're feeling now is not the end it's temporary temporary pain for greater gains yeah that works in the gym and it'll work in your life temporary pain <laughs> for greater gains that's what it is just tattoo that across your shoulder <laughs> temporary pain for greater gains but seriously what you're experiencing during your course correction period there it could be a month, a week, a day, a year. Yeah. Whatever you're experiencing during that moment, it's <clears> just <throat> temporary. Once you get past it, boom. You've been a whole different person. Whole different person. Whole different you. Yeah. New year, new you. <laughs> That's really what it is. But hey, y'all have a fantastic night. Um, we're definitely gonna, you know, let's not talk. We're gonna put a post up about it. We got Timbo hats coming out. They look amazing. Our interns yep. are so dope. They're going above and beyond. Thank you so very much. We're going to get them on here one of these days. But 
As always, keep grinding, keep working, keep changing, and just keep being you. Y'all have a great night. Have a good night.